In my last video, I read this book. I don't understand what this book has done to me. I feel like it's just really made me feel like I found a home with reading. And I have been reading literally my whole life. I've always been a reader and this just like opened up something in my soul. From reading this book and having this experience, I really have started to question what I like and what I want to get out of reading. I just want to feel the way that this book has made me feel in all of my reads. And as I have, you know, just looked at my little bookshelf, I feel like, number one, it is time to reorganize. I've been wanting to reorganize my books for so long now. I feel like it's time to go through some of my books and maybe get rid of a few. I just read this book and it's just, I don't know, it's done something to my soul and it's made me just want to get rid of a lot of things on this shelf. <sighs> and it's way past overdue for organization. This was my TBR here, but it's kind of just become all over the place, but I would like to also readjust my TBR with more books that feel like, you know, just a little bit more sophisticated because I do have a lot up here and I just want to read what I want to read and not feel like I have to read trendy, cool books to fit in. I just really want to read books that made me feel the way that Addie LaRue has. And that is my new TBR and my new mission in life. And we're gonna reorganize a little bit. I'm nervous, but it'll be good. <laughs> I'm gonna take out some of the books I think that I wanna get rid of. I feel like I'm keeping books just so my shelves look more full, which... <laughs> At the end of the day, I think it just makes me feel a little bit overwhelmed when I have too many options. So if I'm not gonna read them, I'm just gonna get rid of them and make room to have more books that I love and that I truly want to read. Sorry. Do I like keep this and reread it right before the movie comes out? and do like a video, no, no. First pile. that incredibly different but it feels a lot better I have some space to put new books because before I was just literally shoving them all the way up to the top so I made like little stacks where I still could fit more and yeah it looks really really good it's just feeling not cr full, and that's what I was trying to escape from so it's very beautiful very pretty and I got rid you want to see the books that I got rid of these are the ones that I am going to be selling. And then these are books that I'm gonna to donate to a little free library. A lot of these I've read and I've just like, they're not my taste anymore, so I don't wanna keep them. These two, and then these. I'm trying to be better about getting rid of stuff that I'm not gonna use or that's not my taste anymore. I do that all the time with my clothes, but it's been really, really hard to do with books. So I am very, very excited to get rid of these. Even though I might regret it in five minutes. Maybe not get rid of them. You're very excited to put them in a new place where someone else True. Can. I have somehow found myself on micro chopped salad TikTok. And I just want to sit here for, I don't really want to, but I'm so excited for the final product. But 
I'm just gonna sit here for a long time and chop up a lot of vegetables and make a salad for Joseph and I. I'm gonna need some parsley, some arugula, I think cilantro, not sure, cucumbers, some lemon, now to chop. It is a rainy, dreary day here in Los Angeles and I have to go fly tomorrow. I am doing a two day trip, so I'm gone just for two days and I have a very long Philadelphia layover, which I'm super excited for. Hopefully it'll be snowy there. I know that sounds like a crazy thing to say, but I really haven't seen snow this year. And I don't even remember if I saw snow last year, but I love the winter. I lived in Chicago for almost five years and just winter is very nostalgic for me and I really hope there's some snow. All that to say, I need to get ready to go fly. I need to do some laundry, which I've already started one load. I need to clean up a little bit around the house. I'm gonna change my sheets. I'm gonna pack. I am gonna cook one of my favorite dinners tonight that I'll show you guys how to make. It's pasta of course and it's super super easy i'm not going to meal prep much because i'm only gone for two days and i have a longer layover but i need to run to the store and get a few groceries and a few small little things for my trip and also for the weekend coming up and yeah i'm just going to be hanging out today getting stuff done i'm currently reading bride by ali hazelwood I am probably like 60% in, and of course, since it's raining today, it's the most perfect day to sit inside and read once I'm done doing all my errands. But this book is a vampire, werewolf, arranged marriage, forced proximity. It's definitely a hee hee ha ha book, but I am having so much fun. And so yeah, I'm just gonna be reading today getting stuff done, getting ready for my trip with you guys. I don't really ever talk like specifically about being a flight attendant because I don't know how many good things I would have to say about my job and I try to be pretty optimistic and I feel like my layovers are my saving grace and what helps me like get through the really hard parts of my job. But my job these days has been super, super disappointing. I share some on my social media, but it's really hard with what you share on social media because of like social media policies and you don't wanna get in trouble at work, but things are just really, really bad. Right now for pretty much a lot of flight attendants. Uh, we have just been trying to fight for a contract. We've been in contract negotiations for a very long time now and it's just been really disappointing, but it's been like years of trying to get a livable wage, like a livable wage. We're not asking for millions and trillions of dollars, but like just a livable wage because we are so underpaid as flight attendants and 
we just are having a lot of trouble making it happen. And so it's been really, really hard to be a flight attendant these days. If you're watching this right now, this is your sign to call the doctor and set up an appointment. If you need to call the doctor, the dentist, whoever it is, if you're watching this, pause this video right now, call them, set up your appointment, and just do it. Just do it. But I have needed to set up a doctor's appointment for at least eight months now. Hi, um, I'm calling to set up an appointment as a new patient. Patient, right? Yes. Okay, hold on. Guys, I did it. <laughs> I could cry. I set up a doctor's appointment. I'm so brave. Wow. My favorite, favorite comfort meal besides corn dogs is Whole Foods Hot Bar Mac and Cheese. Especially when paired with a Doc Pop Poppy. Literal perfection. I think that truly might be like my last meal on earth is a Doc Pop Poppy and Whole Foods Hot Bar Mac and Cheese. You guys don't know me, I'm a so, mystery man. Taylor's boyfriend. This recipe that I'm about to make is probably our most made recipe. Here in LA, there is a very popular and trendy Italian spot called John and Vinny's, but they are very well known for their spicy fusilli pasta. And I went there obsessed with it and then found, <laughs> not a dupe, but I found a recipe to make it at home and this is the recipe that wows everybody. It is from Bon Appetit. Why was I gonna say Bon Appetit? It's called Fusilli Alla Vodka with Basil and Parmesan. Uh, first, before I do anything, I'm going to start heating up the water so it'll boil in time. Half a cup uh, tomato base. You're gonna wanna get this all in with the oil. Stirring occasionally until it tastes brick red. 
and starts the caramel. Looking for that brick. Would you guys say that's brick red? Yeah, the vodka. It'll burn you, so watch out. Two tablespoons. It'll get ya. One cup heavy cream. So I made it to Philly. It is about 6.40 at night. Had a really easy day. I just had one flight here and then one flight home tomorrow. Nothing really crazy happened. Oh, there's nothing better than getting takeout and just like staying in for the night. Maybe it's because I'm a grandma, but I just, I love getting takeout and being cozy and having a cute little night at home. But I'm gonna do the same thing, just in a hotel room. <laughs> Look at these. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I am gonna start before I let go today. I finished Bride by Allie Hazelwood yesterday. And honestly, so many people are talking about it right now and obsessed with it. And there was just something missing for me. I don't know, I couldn't even tell you, I don't think, but there was something missing that I needed for it to be like an amazing book. I just wasn't obsessed with it. So I'm really hoping that when I start Before I Let Go today, it's gonna be really, really good because I'm coming off of like, I found my favorite book for Forever High and I need something that's gonna like make me feel amazing and be happy to be reading something that isn't my favorite book ever. It's very, very cold outside. Right up. Let's go get some coffee. the cutest little morning in Philadelphia. I, I had such a good cup of coffee. There's no greater feeling than when you just start the day with a good latte. It's just, 
I got about 35 pages into my book. I didn't read as much as I wanted to, but I'm gonna read a little bit more today. And of course, on the flight, I went to the bookstore to get this book, My Brilliant Friend. I'm not gonna talk much about it because I am filming a specific video reading this book. You guys will eventually see it. I was really excited to do my journal last night, but unfortunately, I had a really bad migraine, so I literally just sat in bed and did not move as much as possible. So I am going to work on my journal a little bit. And I also think I may watch Love is Blind. I always watch Love is Blind. Like I love it so, so much. I don't care how corny it is or like how probably nobody's actually going on there for love. They just came out with a new season. And I'm telling you, if you need something to watch or if you've never watched Love is Blind before or you're just like kind of over it, watch this new season. I do not know what they put into the season and into the characters, but it is the characters. I'm screwing. The contestants, but it is so, so good. Like suspiciously better than it's been in a really long time. I think it's because of the people on it and the drama, but I am obsessed with it. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out, spend a little time in the room, chill a little bit before I have pickup in like two and a half hours.